We are going to stain some cells for cytoskeleton, in particular microfilaments. And we start off with three C60s of cells. Um, to put it in perspective, the front plate is a C100. The very, very first step ever that you take is you go to the microscope and make sure you have cells. So here's our microscope and I've taken the C60 and put it on there. It is attached to a camera which allows us to view the field of view on a computer and so we can see that there are some beautiful cells there so we can proceed. So our next step is to label the dishes, one, two, and three. Okay, and so I've labeled them one, two, and three, but just a handy dandy trick is sometimes these lids get separated from their dishes. So you want to kind of lead a line through to the bottom of the plate so that if the lid ever gets separated from the dish, you kind of don't blow your experiment. And now we want to collect all of our reagents. We have a beaker with Lysol in it. We're going to put all our spent media into that. We have some PBS, which is just a nice wash solution, phosphate buffered saline. And then we have our three reagents we're going to be putting on our cells. So we have um, formaldehyde, we have 0.1% triton, and we have our phalloidin labeled with our 488. And the first step we're going to take is that we are going to remove the spent media from all three dishes. So this is done non sterile technique um, because I am going to throw these dishes away when I'm done. So I'm just pouring out that spent media into my Lysol. Okay, and then I like to have a little tissue that I can just put that last little bit. Now the cells don't like being dry so I'm going to wash them. Uh, I don't have to be precise here because I'm just going to wash them. And I'm going to take my next step, which is to kind of swirl them, take off the PBS, put more PBS, and clean it again. Okay, so I did clean it one time. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spent media, the spent PBS, off of my three C60s, like this. Okay, and now I'm going to really immediately put on my reagents. So the first step I'm going to take is I am going to add two mLs of formaldehyde to each one of these dishes. The formaldehyde is going to make some nice methylene bridges between our proteins on the surface of our cells and it will make a nice little cage so that this step is called fixing the cells. Now I've incubated the cells with formaldehyde, fixing them for the last 10 minutes. Now formaldehyde is a biological hazard, so we need to put that into its own separate container. I don't want my cells to dry out, um, so I'm going to add my 5 ml of PBS per dish while I talk about our next step. So our next step is that we're going to wash this formaldehyde off very, very well because we don't want to have any of that formaldehyde in the way when we try to stain the cells. So I'm going to wash this twice with PBS. A handy dandy trick that I follow in the lab is when I'm done with a reagent, I move it back in my scheme. So now that I've fixed my cells and I have them in PBS, I'm going to take off the PBS from all of them and I will start my experiment. Plate number one is just going to get PBS. And I didn't want to go into my big stock bottle of PBS so I made myself this little aliquot of PBS and I'm just going to add two mLs to my first plate. The second plate and the third plate are going to get two mLs each of our 0.1% Triton. The Triton is intended to permeabilize the membrane so that we will be getting rid of all the lipid, lipid, lipid protein interactions. And we're going to do that for exactly four minutes. So I have three dishes. In dish one, I put PBS. So this is my permeabilization control. It didn't get Triton. And dish two and three did get Triton. I do not expect that this control, negative control, will be stained for cytoskeleton 
because my phylloidin can't get in. I didn't permeabilize the membrane. I'm going to take the Triton X off. So I took the Triton X off all three plates and now I'm going to run a phylloidin control. So what I am going to do is I am going to get one ml of PBS and I'm going to put it into dish two. This is a negative control to make sure that the phylloidin isn't causing any fluorescence on its own. I am done with the Triton step, so you'll notice that I placed it back in my grand scheme of things, and right now I'm going to be adding my phylloidin. So I am going to add 1 ml of phylloidin to dish 1. 1 ml just covers the bottom. I wouldn't do that if I was going to be keeping it for a very long time because I need at least 5 ml to cover all those cells for a long time. But I now have 1 ml of phylloidin into dish 3 and dish 1. Dish 3 is my money maker. That's what I call it because it got formaldehyde, triton, and phylloidin. Dish 1 is a control for permeabilization because it got formaldehyde and phylloidin but not triton. And dish two is my negative control to make sure that phylloidin isn't fluorescing on its own without being inside the cell because it got formaldehyde, triton, but no phylloidin. So I'm done with my experiment. I've now stained three dishes for cytoskeleton. They've been on there for 10 minutes and I am going to bring it over to my fluorescence scope and see if it fluoresces. So I put my sample onto the stage, my C60, and I'm gonna use this like a regular scope and I'm just going to um, change the focus and the objective and then find that I have cells. So the very first important thing is to find the cells, which I did. The next step of that is to actually turn off the white.